Hi, this is Magnar, and welcome to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. Uh, as I said in one of my earlier episodes, if you want me to do a tutorial on something which I haven't covered, or which I planned on not covering, uh, then please just comment and I will add it to the list of things to be recorded. Uh, this episode and the next one will actually be as a result of two requests that I've received. Um, this episode, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to just make a simple unit uh, in the, the uh, assembly kit uh, variant editor. Now, I, don't, I don't use this myself. I use it all through... Um, I, I edit the create variant mesh definitions through Notepad. I find it much quicker and easier. But some of you may want to do it using the variant editor. So this one's here. So I've already started it up. I've gone into this uh, tweak here. And then I've gone into file, oh sorry, not file, I've gone into here, tools, variant editor. And this is what it should look like if you've set up your um, assembly kit correctly. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go new definition. And then I select from the templates. Uh, I'll select, well, this one I'm going to be doing a unit, uh, so a man. So I select man. And if we click on the little arrow here, and then again you can see all the different slots that it generates automatically. Um, you can think of this like, if you remember, the, if you've seen the variant mesh definition uh, tutorial, you've got your open variant mesh, then you've got your slot, and then here we go, we've got all our other uh, areas we can put stuff in. Um, so let's just start, get straight into it. First, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. This is where we build stuff. This is the left, this is our working space. On the right, is where we can select models and whatever that we want to add to our unit. So first thing we do, we're gonna we need to select a skin, um, so we can actually start seeing how things go. So first we go to the here we've got the man folder. If you want to do edit a, uh, an animal, then you're uh, artillery or something. You can change which folder we're looking in. But here we're gonna go to man, and then in man we have all these other folders. Which we want is skin first. Okay, skin. And it comes up with all the different skins that we need. That we can use, sorry. Okay, so it doesn't matter which slot here we pick to put the skin in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put hair. So just select hair on the left. And then we go find skin. And we can do, I don't know, let's do Greek game skin. So go down to Greek. Don't use the, uh, you probably shouldn't use the cin cinematic ones. C sign here, sin here means cinematic. Um, better to use the ones which don't have that. So here we go, Greek, Greek game skin. We double click on it and it appears over here underneath. You can see here that there's nothing in the torso for the skin, uh, which is where armor's gonna go. And this is just to avoid clipping or anything with the armors. So we can put an armor in there right now. So then we'll pick on another slot, let's say tunics. And then we'll go select armor from here, or tunic, up to you what you want. And we'll pick a random armor. Let's go with, should we actually make it Greek? Yeah, why not? Let's go linothorax. Bang. Now you can see all the parts of the skin which were invisible, uh, and now covered by the armor. And there is no clipping. Clipping being where the skin goes, you can see the skin through the armor because of the different uh, heights. Okay, so now we want to add a bit more evolved so we can actually do two things here. Let's go, I don't know, let's pick helmets just to keep it logical. And we're going to, we can do, we can add, let's add here uh, two. We can add a helmet and we can add some hair so that it'll, it'll vary between the two. So helmets. And we'll pick. I have no idea. Uh, Corinthian helmet, why not? Okay, there's a Corinthian helmet. And we want to create another variation, so we'll pick a variation for here, hair beards, and we'll pick... Should we keep it Greek? Hellenic hair. Okay. So, now this unit will have two variations of uh, what goes on his head. One will be this hair style, and the other one will be this helmet. Um, now it needs weapon. Do we want to add anything else to him? We can add some grease to him. Uh, let's go trousers. Actually, it doesn't matter. I can put this in cloaks if I want. Just to illustrate that, I'll do that now. Let's go greaves. 
and let's just say Grease. Okay, see, even though it's in the cloak slot, the name doesn't matter, but the Grease still appear in the position they should be. Okay, now we need to give him some equipment. Um, or you can give him a cloak or whatever else you want to do, but let's skip all that. We don't. That's all up to how, how you want to do it. Um, actually, no, I want to give him a beard. I want to give him a beard. And then I can show you the problem. Okay, beard, hair beard again. And this time we're going to go... Barb beard helmet Dacian. Why not? There we go. But I don't want this to happen for every single... Um, man, so I'm gonna, I can go here, probability 1 means 100% every single unit will have it, or I can reduce it and say I only want 30% of the men to have a beard. Um, if you want to have a look. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like underneath the helmet. Or well, when you don't have the helmet, with the hair instead. Okay, now let's add weapons. First thing we're going to do is a shield. Uh, shield, we go back here, we're going to go to shields, and we find a shield we like. Again, keeping with the, the Greek theme, we're going to go here. The shield here, Greek sun. Um, but we have to attach it, we have to create, the, select the right attach point. Um, and for shields, that is attach point weapon 3, and that's where you assign them down here. And then it goes like that, and he's standing on top of the shield. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a weapon. Mm, so we go down to weapons. Let's find something easy. Let's just find a spear uh, called short spears. Oh, sorry, I'm in the, I have to select the slot. So this is what happens if I have, we don't want to have him a shield or a spear. We want to have a shield and a spear. So I have to uh, get out of that. Let's go in a weapon one slot. Let's go short spear. Okay, now it's there. And same with just as the shield, we have to uh, we have to choose an attach point for the spear. Uh, for spears, the attach point is weapon one. See how it just rotated there? Now it's in the correct position. Um, weapon one is for like stabby things, spears, and javelins. If you're not going to, uh, for melee, that is. Um, banners, people that hold banners will have spears or pikes. All that kind of stuff is with spears. Weapon two uh, will be for hacking weapons like axes and clubs and swords. Weapon 3 is for shields, as we did up here. Weapon 4 is for bows, I think, shooting weapons. And weapon 5 would be for throwing. So if you're throwing stones or if you're throwing javelins or whatever else is being thrown. I think also slings count as throwing. Uh, that all goes into weapon 5. So you just select the weapon that you want and you, select the, you put the weapon into whatever slot and then you select the attach point so that it will be used properly. Okay, so that's our unit. You can go and do it however you want it to look. And once we've done that, then we just have to save it. So I'm not going to worry about these colors here. That's actually in a um, database table, which I'm not going to edit in this tutorial, but I'll just save definition as. Uh, and we save it into working data. And we're going to save it exactly in the same folder structure as we see used by the game file. So uh, variant variant meshes and then not the variant models, we want it in variant mesh definitions. So I haven't created that but I'll do it now. Okay, we're gonna go in there and we'll save it as something tutorial unit. And uh, yeah don't don't put spaces in the name, use underscore and we'll save it. And this is just a little warning to tell us that these color settings that we've uh, had here by default uh, have not been recorded. And that doesn't bother me because I don't need that. And that's all there is to creating a variant mesh definition. Now I can real quickly just look at what the variant mesh definition actually looks like and we can compare it and working data, variant meshes, variant mesh definitions here it is, so we'll compare it to, see, it looks like another one we, we did exactly the same, except it's just generated by um, the variant editor instead. 
and then you can add that to your pack and put unit stats in and stuff like that and then you can run it in game all right thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time